for this beginner modeling tutorial of the arm muscles, um, I started out with a simple box and then I deleted some of the faces around it just so that I can get a flat plane. Now, there's a lot of ways to get that flat plane, but I just, I'm just kind of used to starting out with a box. So once I have a plane geometry, um, what I'm doing here is I'm starting to build out the overall uh, shape. It's almost like a kind of like a general outline of, of, of the arm. So as I'm working with the outline of, uh, of the arm muscles, I'll start cutting in uh, geometry in the middle. And this is where the edge loop tool comes, uh, comes in handy. Now for this tutorial, I'm just modeling what you see in the, the reference image in the middle. So it's just going to be one side of the arm. I'm not going to worry about you know anything on the back. As, uh, there's plenty of shapes here to, to work with and demonstrate with. Here I'm starting to pull out the shapes and actually build uh, kind of like almost like a relief model. You know, start pulling out the shapes and, and wrapping things around. Now one thing to keep in mind at this stage of modeling is that your model building doesn't necessarily need to be very exact to the reference. Um, that's because the, the main focus here is getting the major shapes down and uh, identifying where the creases are so that you can have an edge there and then building the correct uh, the edge flow. Yeah, so once you have all those elements, then you can go back and match up you know, to the reference as best as you can. But the important thing is to get the basic shapes in first. And that's why you want to keep the geometry uh, very low right now so that you can modify it very easily. Because once the geometry gets too dense, it's very hard to move stuff. So keep it low. One thing worth noting here while we're watching this model being built is that I do a lot of tumbling uh, of the camera. And that is because you really need to be able to see the shapes well and watch it develop so you know, you know which, uh, which vertices to pull in and out. And the only way to, to, to recognize that is by tumbling the camera around. And with all the camera tumbling, that's why I have two uh, perspective um, panels. The one on the left is stationary, and the one on the right is my actual modeling panel. So that if, uh, if you don't want to see all the tumbling, you can just look at the one on the left. One thing worth mentioning here is that you'll notice that a lot of my modeling work is done with the split polygon tool. And as I'm splitting edges up to add more geometry, I am also deleting a lot of uh, unnecessary edges um, by just by deleting edges or merging vertices together. And that way I can slowly build up the form without adding too much geometry to it. Because at this stage, it is crucial to keep your geometry low. So as you can see, I'm, I'm constantly building and cleaning and building and cleaning. And it's, it's kind of repetitive, but it slowly comes alive. Now here I'm using the freeform deformation tool. And you can see how useful this tool is. By creating a lattice around it, I'm able to move uh, large volumes of vertices around. And for this case, I'm wrapping the, uh, the geometry around just to give it a little bit more volume as the, uh, the arm was rather flat at the beginning. So at this point, we're starting to see the, the form stick shape. And slowly but surely, you know, we're, we're, we're building all the individual muscle strands. So there's about like a minute or so of this uh, speed modeling, which is being played back at 400%. And toward the end, we're going to do a little recap and see uh, what we've modeled so far.
So here's the final model that we have. And for comparison, I'm just putting them all side by side with the reference, the shaded, and also the low geometry. So looking at the color lines, you can see that we've got all the major shapes in. You know, we got all the creases where we need it to be. The edge flow looks good. It is flowing with the geometry. So the only major problem we have right now is where um, the little muscle in between the bicep and the tricep. Again, I have it uh, flowing downward where it really needs to wrap toward the bicep a little bit more. So we're going to continue this on the intermediate level. Thanks for watching.